Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Thursday afternoon, uh, evening, excuse me, at six o'clock here, um, in the evening. Um, I'm doing okay, I guess. I'm a bit on the frustrated side. This whole top business has turned into one big epic fail. Um, pretty bummed out. Pretty, uh, very, very frustrated at myself. Um, no matter how many times I alter this thing or fudge things or try to fix things, it just, it's just not, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm just ready to move on and uh, scrap it and try, try, try a different way. So, um, and I know a lot of people would just frog it and then try, try a different way, but I'm not going to frog it. When I tie things and, and, and weave in ends, they're, they're there to stay. So, um, most time, especially when I get this far done in a project. Now I have frogged some things that were, you know, mid, you know, mid project. That's because I hadn't woven in ends and stuff, but this, this project's too far gone to do that. So, um, I'm not going to frog it. Uh, I used six skeins. Uh, well, I have a couple of scrap balls in the living room that I didn't bring in here, but I used uh, six skeins of, I love this cotton by Hobby Lobby. Uh, the colors I used are turqu regular turquoise and deep teal. Uh, deep teal was the main color I used. Uh, and of course they just spring apart as I go to put them up, lay them down. Um, I put it, it fits me. Okay. That's all you could say for it is that it fits me. Does it fit me well? No, it does not. Uh, I was hoping for, uh, you know, because I used half double crochets throughout the project that it would fit me solid enough that I wouldn't have to wear a shirt underneath it. And when I tried it on, no, I'd probably have to wear something underneath it. So I'm not happy about that. So my original estimate of stitch, stitch count, I had to go up in my notes that I made along the project because you know when you're doing something new you make notes and so I had because I had counted along the bottom of it how many stitches on each panel along the bottom you know to maybe get give, give myself an idea of what kind of chain number I might need for a future top you know because it looked like it was going to fit me and I said well let me count how many stitches I got going across the bottom because then I, could, I know my chain count when I get ready to do another top and um, so now after putting this thing completely together and then trying it on and seeing when it was on that you could see my stomach through it I, obviously that's not that was not the desired fit that I was going for so I'm going to have to add chain you know add to that chain number to make it more drapey so that it doesn't do that because this should it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't you know it shouldn't be that way uh, i'm a loose crocheter uh because i just don't have the hand strength to be a tight crocheter um so that probably has a lot to do with it um and i'm not going to do things in single crochet just to make it solid i'm just not going to do that uh, that would take absolutely forever, and I don't have the patience for it. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> um, but this is, if, if I continue to drill at this thing to try to get it to fit properly, it's just going to dig into my psyche. It's going to steal my joy, and I don't, I don't want to do that. So, I know myself enough and my mental health enough to know that if I keep beating a dead horse, which is what this this top has become to me, a dead horse, if I keep at it, it's just going to keep digging at my psyche and keep digging at my brain and making me feel more frustrated and more angry. So, it's best to just move on. Um, but I will show y'all what, what attempts I made at trying to fix it. Um... I did do all this stuff to the top and see when I tried, I put it together with, um, excuse me, I'm thirsty, strawberry water, caffeine free since I have that scope in the morning, but I did do this with the top 
Now, when I put it together with um, stitch markers and then tried it on and it fit, so I was I was encouraged by that. But then I realized that I had went, I, I didn't do any kind of decreases with these stitches when I did this filled in the gap here. So I filled in the gap with these stitches, but I didn't do any decreases because I didn't know I needed to. And uh, so when I tried it on, this right here just buckled in the front. It, it just it just did this little bu weird buckling right here. And uh, so, I, so when I took these and if I fo folded it over like that, it lined up fine where it would where it would look okay and still if it fit okay i could live with this little fold here that i did i could have lived with that um it doesn't look terrible um you know actually this is the outside but i mean that doesn't look too bad I, you know i could have lived with that you know it's just it's just a bum around the house or bum around town in kind of tank top it wasn't like i was going on national tv with it or anything you know um <laughs> You know what I mean? But um, but I could have lived with that. But for some reason, it still, even with doing this, it wasn't enough. It was still, the, the, the um, shoulder straps here were still kind of off my shoulders and I'm not an off the shoulder kind of person. Uh, I have tattoos on my shoulders. I like to show my tattoos. I, put, I, put, I paid, paid good money for these tattoos. I like to show them. It's part of the art artist in me. I just like them. And so, I, you know, I know a lot of women are self-conscious about their big arms. I'm not. I feel like if you don't like to see my big flabby arms, don't look at them. <laughs> it's just that simple. If you don't like the look of my big flabby arms, don't look at them. I'm not that self-conscious about it. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm not... I. I I haven't been self-conscious about my big flabby arms in a very long time. I just got to a point where it's just like, if you have a problem with my big flabby arms, don't look at them. They're not yours. You don't have to worry about it. They're mine. I don't care. <laughs> they don't bother me. I like my sleeveless shirts. I like my tank tops. Uh, I don't wear low cut because, well, I just have some modesty about myself. Um, but, uh, I'm going to wear my sleeveless because I spent good money on tattoos and I'm going to show those off just so you know. <laughs> it's just my personality. Anyway, but uh, when I tried this on earlier, the back, I didn't, I, I, now I did do some decreases on, on the, on the back, hoping that I had avoided the problem that I had on the front. When I tried it on, this was doing this little wrinkly thing at the back. Almost like it, it was do, it was laying just like this when I had it on in the back. And I'm like, <sighs> so I'm just tired of it. I've been on it a week now. And I'm just tired of it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just tired. Um, now, I, I mean, the only thing I could have done... I mean, it, it still would have taken, I would have had to taken this and, 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 and pulled this tight and, and figured out how to tuck it in some more and then figured out something to do with the back. I just don't have it in me. I just don't. I mean, I've put a lot of effort into this and a lot of yarn, you know, 1,080 yards to be exact, almost. With the exception of the little balls in the lunar room. And I'm just done. You ever done? That not ever happened to y'all? This is the first time this has really happened to me. To where I'm just scrapping something and scrapping the yarn too. Um, I guess I should count myself lucky that this is the first time. Um, luckily, Hobby Lobby yarn is on sale every other week for 30% off. And luckily, I have enough of that yarn when I bought it last time that I have enough to start over again. And I made lots of notes on, you know, sizes. Now, I, I counted those stitches across the bottom of the panels. Uh, and then when I tried it on and saw how they stretched and still showed my belly, um, then I added. 
<laughs> I added because I was like, nah, we're not having that. Obviously, I need to add more to the stitches so that um, I'm not going to have that problem. I'll, I'll just add add more. Um, so, um, but uh, I do have some of that yarn left. I hope I have enough. But I have... Uh, now, this is the variegated color in that yarn. Uh, this color is called Paris and June. And this only has um, 153 yards. And I got four of these. So, this is very pretty. And it really has, you know, it has the deep teal in it. And it has the regular turquoise. And then it has a little bit of a yellow color in it. Or gold color. And then this cream color, or white. And, um... So I got four of them. And then I still have three of these, which is the tur regular turquoise. And these are 180 yards. And then I got one of these left, which is 180 yards of the deep teal. So hopefully that's enough to do another one. Um, but it, I'm not in that tutorial, not in that style. Um, I'm going to just have to just, uh, I'm going to, I, I like, I like the idea of doing two panels and then sewing them up together. Uh, that works better for me. Um, I'll just have to just peruse YouTube and see if I could find a tutorial that suits me better. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go with a tutorial or if I want to try to figure this out and do my own thing. Um, I like, I like the idea of doing my own thing, um, but this didn't work out and I'm just really discouraged and upset with myself. Uh, so I don't, I need something to do. Um, <laughs> and I don't know if I should just jump right back in and do another top or if I should just try to work on something else. Um, I don't do well sitting in front of the couch, in front of the TV without something in my hands. I don't do well with that. I tend to play Bejeweled on my phone until my battery, <laughs> until my battery starts running down on my phone because I can't just sit and, and watch TV and just do that. Um, I have to have my hands busy. I have to have something else engaging me. Um, I have to be multitasking. I'm... I don't know why, but I've just been that way for a long time that I can't just be doing one, sitting and doing one thing. I have to be doing multiple things at the same time. And either I'm either crocheting or I'm playing Bejeweled on my phone or I'm texting someone in a conversation with somebody. Uh, I have to be engaging doing something else besides just watching TV. Otherwise, I just, I, I can't, I can't. I just have to be doing something else. I have to be multitasking. Um, so it's just it's just how I am, and so um, I'll be working on another project. At some, I mean, I did start that little um, blanket for Axel, so I could work on that. I probably will work on that because at least that'll keep me busy while I think, <laughs> while I'm thinking of something else, and try to figure perusing tutorials on 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 YouTube, trying to figure out if I want to do some someone else's tutorial, if I can look through you know, top tutorials and find something simple enough. I don't want anything complicated. I, I just want something that has to, to, where you work up two panels and then you sew them together and voila, you have a top. I don't want any of this fancy crochet acrobat business. Uh, I just want something simple. Um, so um, that's just how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't have time for anything else. Um, that I, I don't want to you know, all, all that fancy business. Uh, I was watching um, another YouTuber's video. She was doing that uh, Things Were Making Thursday and um, Shannon knows, she knows who she is. Um, <laughs> and uh, the the things were that shawl they're making has a, has a, a double triple crochet. Yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't even like regular triple crochets, much less a double triple. You are out of your mind. <laughs> and it's throughout the shawl. Don't get me wrong. The shawl's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. 
but no. <laughs> My wrist would be screaming. Oh, no. No, 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 no. But Shannon is capable. So, she she's amazing. So, she will make it gorgeous. No doubt at all. So, uh, I was just like, mm -mm, no way, girlfriend. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I will stick to uh, single crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. If it don't come in them, or, or I will sometimes do front post, back post, but it, it, anything beyond that, <laughs> not doing, oh, slip stitches. I'll do some slip stitches, but I'm not, you know, mm -mm. no, sorry. Don't, don't look for me to do anything super fancy because uh, my hands don't work that way. My mind doesn't work that way. Uh, I just don't uh, because it's supposed to be a relaxing occupation it's supposed to bring you peace and those things do not bring me peace those things make my hands ache so uh, much like the thought of two weight and one weight yarn ouch so that means you know ooh, no <laughs> I not only use three weight if I'm doing a shawl you know, I wouldn't use three weight to make a blouse because it would take forever, ever, ever. <laughs> I did do, I did order some yarn though, um, from Hershner's and they haven't shipped it yet. Hershner's <laughs> might have to have a talk with them, <laughs> but it's only been a couple of days. We're going to give them till Monday. And then I might email them and say, mm, what's this? You have my money and you haven't shipped my stuff yet? <laughs> we know how I feel about that, right? <laughs> I don't like it. I, I, I pay, you ship. That's the deal. Uh, anyway, but I ordered some, um, some I, ha I think I had this yarn before, but I ended up giving it away and not using it. But it was um, Line Brands. Uh, oh, gosh, what was it? Those little cakes. Oh. Now, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway. Um, yeah, I ordered it in green. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it right away. Oh, it just it just left my brain. But it's it, it's beautiful green color. And I ordered six cakes of it. Because I thought that would be enough. Because it only has like less than 300 yards per cake. Uh, but it's really pretty. And then they had a yarn that I had never seen before. This, I think a Hershner's brand that had some real pretty colors in it. And so I ordered some of that. And um, so that should be in eventually. Um, and I did, uh, Michael's, I finally found the color that I was looking for to complement this color at Michael's. It's called um, oh, See Something. It's a turquoise color. But I wanted it to go with this that I bought the other week. And uh, so I ordered four of them. And that should come. Two of them is supposed to come tomorrow. And who knows when the other. Oh, and the other two are coming like Saturday or Sunday. I don't know why they didn't send it all together. But anyway. But they had 20% off. And then I had a $5 voucher. So I said, why not? But um, yeah. So, but this is the, the powder blue one. And I. I got three of these, I think, and then one of the, three or four of these, and then one of the um, gray ones, but I'm not sure exactly. I think I'll make me something to wear with that for the fall, for cool, for warmer weather, because it's mostly acrylic and polyester, but um, I heard it's kind of splitty, but I guess I'll find that out when time comes. I hope I can work with it, because I typically don't do well with splitty, <clears throat> excuse me, but splitty yarn because I'm a loose crocheter and typically loose crocheters don't do well with splitty yarn. It's usually a tight crocheter that usually does better with splitty yarn, but we shall see. But um, I might try a top in, in some of my acrylic yarn before I use this cotton yarn again, since I have a whole lot more acrylic yarn than I do um, cotton. So. I might use some of my acrylic versus the cotton first and do that first. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I just figured I'd come on here and update y'all about my latest project. Um, 
I'm thinking about just um, doing another one of those videos where I come up with a, 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 a you know, show y'all a bunch of yarn, different yarn choices, and then um, a different, you know, and come up with a different project, you know, a, a particular project and have y'all pick the yarn for that project. Um, that were, I did a video like that before and that worked out pretty good. And uh, so I might um, do that again, come up with uh, some yarn choices and uh, have y'all pick the yarn and pick the uh, project and, um, you know, do a series like that. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, obviously, I have yarn to, to pick from. And um, I, I haven't done a blanket in a little while. So maybe, you know, I'll do another blanket and have y'all pick the yarn for the blanket. So um, I'm thinking about doing another ripple blanket since I have sold my ripple blanket. And I, well, I made two. I gave one to Kayla and then I, I sold the, the, the green one. And I have, the, I have the yarn. I could make another green one. Um, I have the exact same yarn that I made the, that one out of. I can make another one. And, uh, but, I ha but I'm thinking about making some out of um, my sweet rolls. And because um, it's so pretty in the sweet rolls. When I made that pink one for Kayla, um, it turned out so pretty. So um, I definitely want to make another one with sweet rolls. And, um, and I was thinking about... <sighs> thinking about making a ripple blanket with this I think it would be really pretty with this now the only the thing that I've learned about these uh, cinnamon swirl cakes is the the color the stripes are short yeah the stripes on them are short so it look it look different but I think that's what's gonna happen with that yarn for sure it's gonna be a ripple blanket um, and of course closer we get to uh, probably November, December. Um, I'll probably uh, pull something, do something with these latte cakes. Uh, now, some of y'all might not know, but I have quite a few latte cakes. I have them in this color, which I love. I, I really like. This is the red macaroon color. And then I have this, um, what color is this? Velvet teal. Velvet teal. So, um, you know, I definitely want to incorporate this with something, you know, and, and part of me, and, and this, and, and, you know, despite them giving the, that a higher, um, a, a thicker yarn classification, it's not really that thick of a yarn. I know when I made a blanket with it before, I put a yarn with it and used a number seven hook. Um, so it's possible that I may pair that uh, I thought about um, thought about getting a couple more of these this one uh, this heat wave yarn and um, and pairing it with this because they both stripe and they have similar stripes so I thought about pairing it with this um, and using a bigger hook for a blanket maybe that uh, I don't know because um, it I, I don't want anything that's gonna need stitch definition you know, I don't, you know, because the ripple blanket, you really want to see those stitches because it's really nice. Uh, so I would probably do it with maybe that, um, that prairie stitch, you know, um, that, that you don't really have to, you know, ha have a bunch of stitch definition for. Um, but it, it's fairly simple or, you know, some, some, a simple stitch that doesn't require you to, you know, that you're not really looking for a specific uh, stitch definition to be you know in, in play there but that you're really looking for the yarn to be the star situation and so um, just something that would be a nice cozy yet bright and cheerful type uh, blanket um, but uh, I don't know about uh, and then of course you, you know you could always make a sweater with this this would make a wonderful sweater so um, you know, I, th I don't know if you'd want the whole sweater to be in, in latte cake or maybe just, you know, maybe, you know, parts of it to be in, in a latte cake, but a whole sweater done in latte cake, I don't know about that, especially not down here. It might be something that I make and then sell to someone that lives up north because you wouldn't wear that around here. You'd burn up. So um, I, it doesn't really get cold enough down here for something like that. Uh, and it only gets like that cold for like a month and then it warms right back up. We really don't get 
cold enough for long enough to justify owning something like that. So, um, anyway, um, but that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'm probably going to come up with a video like that where I just pick a bunch of yarn and, uh, ha have y'all, um, pick out what, what yarn I'm going to do f next, um, and what project I do with it. Uh, but I am, I'm feeling the ripple yarn. I'm feeling the ripple blanket thing. I think I'm definitely going to do the ripple blanket next probably because I really enjoyed making those. Uh, it's such a simple, simple stitch, a simple blanket, and it's really enjoyable. And you can really, you know, just kind of, you know, sit in front of the TV and do it. And, um, you know, it, it, there is a little bit of counting stitches, but not, not in a, not in a very stressful way. Just have I got this, this amount in this area and okay, next. And you just keep going. And, um, and it's just really nice. Uh, and when I do that, when I do that video, I'll make sure to include the, uh, the tutorial I use for that blanket so that y'all can, you know, try it for yourself. So, um, anyway, this video is long enough. So, um, I will, uh, let y'all go for now, but please know that I'm fine. <laughs> I know there's been a, a day or two in between videos and I apologize for that. When I get into a project, like I've been into this top, I get kind of single-minded and I've just kind of zoned out and I was just like single-minded trying to do this project and it just I just uh tunnel visioned a little bit and all I could see was trying to get it done and um I should have known better <laughs> I should have known better when I get like that that uh nothing comes out like it should so um but I love y'all and so does Jesus and please remember to adopt don't shop your best friend could be wait free at the shelter or the rescue and I will see y'all again soon. Bye now.